Let me milk and apples. Hey y'all. Okay, so um today, sorry my this is my dream catcher. Keeps getting all over my hair today. <sighs> anyway. What's up y'all? So today is um July 6th. It is um National Fried Chicken Day. So, I went to a few different places. I went to like this little restaurant like, um, maybe you guys have one there in your location. Like, it's just like say a wings and fish, fried wings, fried fish and stuff. Like, something like a JJ's Fish and Chicken. We don't have a JJ's Fish and Chicken here, but this place is similar to that. So, I got some chicken wings from there. I got some regular Popeye's chicken wings. I got some KFC chicken wings. I was going to get some churches, but I didn't want to drive. And I was going to get this Arby's um, loaded, but loaded french fries. I saw this guy having the other day on this different mukbang. I'll give you guys his his um stuff because his, his mukbang was off the chain. It was so delicious. He made me so hungry for some Arby's last night. But anyway, so I also have corn. Um, I made this corn myself. And I have some macaroni and cheese that was also made myself. And this is some fried okra I got from the place with this chicken wings. This is some mashed potatoes. Y'all know it. Any potato, I love it. And that came from um, KFC with that little one piece of chicken. And that is that. So let's get started. I got plenty of hot sauce and ketchup. Um, ranch, ranch. Hope y'all can see this stuff. This is called ghetto sauce. It's barbecue sauce from St. Louis. Um, a, a, it's like a company makes it themselves. I it's called ghetto sauce, but it's just barbecue sauce. But it's spicy, and it is so 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 good. Um, hot sauce, ketchup. I got all that Cajun sparkle. I got all that. So let's get into the mix of it. Um, I'm drinking ginger ale today because I'm you know, I'm gonna have to make some room. And I'm also drinking um this ain't crown roll on this cup, but that's not crown roll. This is Remy VSOP. <sighs> because I hope when I'm done, I can just um do my homework and you know move on to the next, have a nice little night. But we'll see. This is my Trusty Old Vienna Red Hot Ripplet Seasoning. Y'all see it? See it? I'm going to put that all over my corn because it tastes so freaking great all over your corn. And I'm going to put it over my okra. It's just fried okra. I'm going to eat that with some hot sauce on it. And ketchup. Anyway, what y'all been up to? Hopefully somebody watches this and eats some fried chicken with me. Hopefully, I can eat it all. Hmm. We'll see. Y'all know how your girl is. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. It was such a task to get this food today. Y'all know my prep sucks. Like, it just takes so much. But I was dealing with some real rude people today. Like, I don't know, y'all. This world is just. You gotta keep an open mind about, you know, everybody ain't on the same shit that everybody else is on because there's just some real, real people in this world. And I'm trying to speculate as to what could be that person's problem or whatever. I just don't want to. Like, whatever it is, you need to get that shit together. If you want to come work today, don't fucking go to work because you know you all you're doing is ruining other people that you know. Don't fucking ruin my day. But I didn't let it get to me. You know, I just think about this is all hot sauce I was putting on there. Here goes some honey. I'm gonna put this on there too, but not just this moment. Um but When I run into all these rude people and they just be not being very nice to you, you know, while you patronizing their businesses or their job, 
Or y'all just out in the street together. You gotta go back and you gotta think about. Well, I watch National Geographic all the time. Y'all know that. I've told y'all about some stories in my previous one. But it makes me just think about how everybody act like animals and stuff. You know, you don't have to act like animals. Like, you know, we have, we, we got a means of talking, you know, and shit like that. But I don't know. This just fried chicken wing. Like we don't have to be that mean to each other, but people do it. At least animals have an excuse, you know, like. Animals have to be mean. They have, you know, they have to eat each other for real. <laughs> you know, it's like, I was watching this show Turf Wars on National Geographic. They had like the... The lion, female and male, how they have to fight against hippos and crocodiles and like it's a lot that everybody has to fight against every day out there in the wild. And it was tough. This one mother lion. Her ass wasn't no punk. She wasn't no punk, bitch. She left them kids by herself for two months that she had a baby because she had to get the food. <laughs> that puzzle baby was hungry too because two months you've been on this damn earth and your mama ain't fed you yet. Mm. It's tough being an animal, you know? All these mean ass people are act like, you know. But then, then I can't say that. You never know. Maybe these people out here with attitudes because they can't feed their kids and shit. Hmm. I don't want to speculate. I don't know. If you don't feel like it, you know, being just a little cordial, don't go outside. If you got to go outside, just. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Just don't bring me in your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I bring everybody else in your crap? This is Popeye's wing. I really don't want that breath. I was gonna die. Mm, what the hell is this piece of chicken? For the longest time, <laughs> when I was younger, just spicy chicken too, y'all. When I was younger, and I heard the people asking, like if my mama be ordering chicken, you'll hear them ask, you want light or dark, white or dark meat? White or dark? I'm like, the chicken white on the inside, but who want white outside chicken? Never knew. <laughs> it was like the breast versus the leg is white versus dark. Never knew it. I learned that shit after I had kids. I turned off my fan because you know I didn't want my food to get cold, but Lord, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. This corn is 
is so good. I don't like corn things stuck in my teeth. That's why I don't eat it a lot. I'm gonna have to turn that fan back on. Cause this shit ain't staying piping hot. No way. I made that or don't hurt. Put your mouth in there, they work. Did you just say that? When I was little. Oh. I don't have time to paint all this straight up. Tell me if I ain't turn that fan on, this video would have been over with too fast because I have been sweat to death. This chicken good. It tastes like homemade chicken. Popeyes is always delicious. KFC is pretty juicy. I don't really eat KFC. I don't know why. Well, you got an aftertaste too. My grandma used to make us eat KFC. On every road trip. Y'all got those more pain shit. Every time y'all go on a road trip, y'all eat the same shit. We had to go to KFC for the road. And when you get to the hotel in the morning, we had to go to Bob Evans. Like he ain't delicious either.
I was watching this new channel today. Well, it's new to me. <laughs> Maybe not y'all. New to me. It's called Vice. Or Vice Land Network. It's got this show on there. Called. Um, the Therapist. And the therapist is this this man, this older guy, and he got the one I saw today. He had the rapper Drum, Drum, Drum. I thought his name was Drum. I don't know. Y'all know who I'm talking about though. He's singing that song. I'm beyond. I be young, all the punk shit. Y'all know that. And I'm not moving on to you back to be my sunshine. That one. And I think that's him, him and Lil Yachty. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. I be trying to keep up. Just a little. But he was on there. Found out a lot of good stuff about him. It was a really good show. Like, he really was like in the therapy session. And he kind of helped me see a lot of stuff to go on with my son, like my older son. And just people in general, you know. When some other people can't express themselves. Sometimes other people kind of go through the same thing and express what they're going through better than they could. I know they asked him. <laughs> he was asking him like to write everything 1 to 10, 10 being the greatest and 1 being the worst or you know, about how you feel about certain situations in this life. And he asked him, like, sexually. You know. How do he feel in his life about, you know, his sexual life? He's like, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I have sex. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. But the therapist kept saying, like, one to ten, one to ten, seven, eight, six, five. He was just like, I'm good. So the therapist was like, ten. He never really said, yeah. He was just like, yeah, I'm good. Not yeah to ten, but like, I'm good. And so, but then when the therapist asked him about his dog, he was throwing tens out the chart. I was like, I know subconsciously he doesn't know. You know that he just kind of showed he loved his, his dog more than he loved his hoes. <laughs> Maybe he'll see that way. He can watch it. I don't eat that gristle part. Oh, ho, 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 y'all. Yeah. <coughs> we gotta get to it. It's a lot. Didn't look like a lot. I thought I was so starving.
I know that has house pop in my eye. I don't eat these okra with this because they're getting soft. Can I put this shit on them? When I was younger, I hated okra. Mm, 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 mm. That was like the grossest shit in the world. It's got seeds and slime. Horrible. I think this one of those things I struck like in there because I was pregnant. So we get tired while we eating, right? Cause we, the food is showing our metabolism down, right? Is that what it is? Cause I had all the energy in the world, player. And I'm tired as, tired as hell, right now, right now. That's okra tater. Mm. Feel like my shirt is bundling up from fat. <laughs> It's just straight roomy BSOP. Ain't no chase ain't on that. I don't usually drink chases because it makes my head hurt. But since I'm drinking this ginger ale, it'll, you know, pop off each other. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ha. Oh. You know what the problem was? I drank that like it was soda. That's no soda. That's not soda at all. Oh my Jesus. That's what's hot. Okay, so I'm not going to eat this one. I'm going to try to commit to eating this one and that other piece of Popeyes. And the Popeyes chick. I was like, give me a two piece or whatever with nothing, just two piece chicken. She like, fold something and some change. I'm like, well, you got five pieces of chicken for five dollars. I don't want two. So, I made her change this shit. Fuck, like I be getting got out here in these streets with my money. Like, why the f why in the hell would I pay for? Two pieces of chicken for five dollars when you're giving five. What? And then she got an attitude because I had to change it. Like, for real, this is your job. But anyway, maybe she was having a bad day. I don't know. I don't care. Then I asked her for some hot sauce, some ketchup, and some sparkle. She told me, I already put hot sauce and ketchup in your bag. It was three. And then got five pieces of chicken. I said, like, alright. 
I think sometimes when people be talking about the customers that they jogging on their nerve, I think sometimes they pulling that shit, you know, they sell. Like, you may have brought your attitude with you, which brings an attitude with your customers because you're giving them the attitude. I don't know. I know this. You shouldn't have to ask four times for no damn hot sauce ketchup when you paying for something. And you got a specific. Well, can you give me some more? Like, you shouldn't have to do all this shit. Bitch, give me some this shit. shit in the bag. I'm trying to get out your hair. Just like you want me to get the fuck away from you. I'm trying to get away like you want me away. Shit, I ain't gonna be outside. I hate going outside. I ain't going outside today. I hate your shit. I'm not eating that gristle. My granddaddy in there. My daddy eats gristle and shit. Like, what are you doing there for? You are not a puppy. You are not a dog. But I guess it's like eating pig ears and shit, so. That's just all the same. Oh. Uh. I hate, you know what I hate, I hate the driving out here. Anybody got road rage or is it just me? I got, bam, I wanna kill everybody. Do you understand? There is no pressure like driving in Los Angeles. I'm from Cleveland, I'm not used to this. You know what I mean? You know the worst pressure is being that lead off man at the left turn signal and like, you ever been this guy? There is no pressure in the world like being that guy. You sitting at the light, you got 12 people in your rear view mirror looking at you like if he don't turn the corner, the second this light turn green. Right, I'm looking at the light on the other side like I ain't gonna f up, I ain't gonna f up. Right, you know what I mean? Cause I've been guy number 12. You ever been guy number 12? You angry just because you know you got 11 people in front of you. And you know anybody's hesitation gonna cost you your chance of making that light. Soon as the light turned green, I turned it to a cheerleader. Go, 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 go! And you almost make it and the guy right in front of you decide to stop at the yellow light. He's like, you mother We could have made it. We could have made it. Forget the cameras, forget the cameras. Cause you know they take your picture now, you know what I'm saying? You ever get your picture taken of you breaking the law? They send it to you, you look like you're going over one of them hills at the roller coaster, right? You're failing. I got that in the mail, I took that to court, like this ain't me, this is not me. You ever see this group of people over here that want to merge in? They be sitting right there waiting to merge in. That's the most humble group of drivers you'll ever see. I don't want to let them in. When I get up on them, I turn my body in the seat just a little bit. I'm like, I don't see you over there. You tell all your friends in the car, don't nobody look at them. Don't look at them. Because if you look at them, you got to let them in. You know what I'm saying? They ease their car up, I ease my they ease they, I ease mine, I will hit your I will run this Pinto into that Hummer, I swear. Move it again, move it again. <laughs> I'm just angry, I don't understand. You ever get caught up behind somebody real slow? You be trying to get around them, but both people be slow, so they be, you be jumping from lane to lane. You like, they know each other, they trying to make me late. You jump and jump and finally you get around. But before you take off, you make it a point to stop and look at that person that's been messing off your time to let you know that I want you to know that I think you ain't pow. Mm. 
I did this the other day. I shot around this guy, but then I got caught at the light like 20 feet ahead. He rolled up on me real slow like. Oh, that wasn't even necessary. We still at the same spot. <laughs> you don't want to look at him, so I move up a little bit like, don't look at me. Don't you judge me.